Welcome to the channel. I got exciting and fresh update for you. Android emulator on PC. If you were using BlueStacks, Nox Player or such Android emulators on PC, it's time to drop it. Search Google Play on PC or Google Play Games on PC. Click on the link and here it is. Take mobile gaming to your PC. System requirements. Windows 10 is alright. 8GB of memory is required that is present in almost every laptop these days. Cool. Explore games. Free Fire, Ludo King, Mobile Legends, Clash Royale, Angry Birds. You can play these on PC as well. To download the app, click a download beta button. After it's downloaded, click at install Google Play Games beta. Click install. After downloading is completed, the app will be installed. After installation, the app will be started automatically. Click on sign in with Google. Click looks good. You can read the terms and conditions. I have already done so. Accept. Click on finish. After installation, if you see this message that says to install and play most games, turn on additional settings. Click on continue. It might further ask to turn on hardware virtualization. This is related to BIOS settings in motherboard. This is advanced stuff. Only proceed if you know what you are doing or get help from someone experienced. It also depends on hardware to hardware. How I turned this setting on for me, I will show you. My motherboard is tough gaming. I did this. Restart the PC. During the boot process, press the Dell key or F2 key repeatedly to enter the BIOS setup. Once in the BIOS, I switched to Advanced mode. Clicked on Advanced tab. In the Advanced tab, select CPU configuration. Enable SVM mode. Look for an option called SVM mode and set it to Enabled. SVM stands for Secure Virtual Machine or Virtualization mode in AMD BIOS. Save the settings and exit. After enabling SVM mode, hardware virtualization should be activated on your system. This option might be labeled differently depending on the BIOS version and manufacturer. But SVM mode is commonly used for AMD CPUs. For you, it might be Intel VMX virtualization technology option in CPU configuration or virtualization technology. Once you enable it, you will be able to use Google Play games on PC. Restart PC and start the Google Play Games beta app again. You will see this message. Windows a hypervisor platform must be turned on. Just click continue. Click yes for install hypervisor pop up. And that's it. Okay, add the right app shows my library. Here is the Clash Royale. If you want to explore more games, click search icon at the left. Here use the filter search option or scroll to view more games. Ok, to install, select a game, click on install button. After game is installed, you will be able to play it. It will be opened in a pop-up window. I have some game progress already in Clash Royale. So the game is asking to load previous progress. Click OK and provide game account details. And I am logged into game with my progress saved. And now I am playing an Android game on my PC using Google Play Games beta app. Amazing, right? This app won't be laggy like BlueStacks or Nox Player. Those emulators were laggy and they crashed a lot. But now we have got official app to play Android games on PC. Link is in the video description. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next one.